Hello and welcome to my first ever steam locomotive review, this time a model from Hornby. Welcome to another one of my locomotive reviews, this time of this beautiful Hornby Railways LMS Patriot Class 5541 Duke of Sutherland. Uh, now, there's a lot to talk about here. First of all, I must point out this isn't an unboxing review. It's just a review for the reason that it's already been unboxed. Um, I, I've had it before, but it, as you can see, this packaging is very tatty, but there's a good reason for that. This locomotive is incredibly old, and we'll come to that because this, this is so impressive for the age it is. So I believe this was first produced in 1971 by Hornby Railways, as they were at the time. Um, it was based on the LMS Patriot class, of which 52 locomotives were built. Um, this model has been produced by Backman also. Um, so yeah, it's had it a few times. I, I've, I've had it out and running, and for, what, for the age this is, I, I am incredibly impressed with how it performs. But we'll come to that later. Uh, I paid a very reasonable £25 for this model, which I think is very impressive. And, and I must say, for, for that kind of price, you're getting quite a lot here. So um, I think we'll just jump straight into the review and get started with the detail of this model then. So there she is, the LMS Patriot Class 5541 Duke of Sutherland, looking beautiful in that white background and the light there, in that wonderful crimson red. LMS livery. So uh, yeah, for detailing, I suppose we could just start with the livery since we're here. Uh, I, I love this red. I think it looks really smart in the locomotive, especially this uh, yellow lining along the side of the running plate and across the, around the sides of the boiler. I think it looks splendid all across the locomotive. Um, regarding separately fitted detail, uh, these handrails here are of course separately fitted. Um, I mean, most of the detail here is moulded, but printed well, so this is this is moulded here. Uh, I think all the handles are separately fitted. There is this very interesting sort of caging around the coal here, which is separately fitted. I think that looks good, probably to stop the coal from spilling out. Um, we've got a good moulding here for the whistle, that uh, the whistle's there, that, that is very good moulding, it doesn't look too messy. Um, I believe the majority of the model is plastic. I'm not feeling much die cast, um, but um, yeah, it's it's a good it's a good heavy model, um, so this will probably run well. We've got very very simply molded detail on the buffer beams there, sort of what I suppose would be a normal coupling, and then we've got, got non sprung buffers unfortunately, but I don't know if when this model was produced if sprung buffers were actually. Um, a necessity in modelling. I don't know if they discovered that yet. Uh, but um, other than that, for the age of this model, I think it looks phenomenal. Um, if we go and have a look at some of the other side and see some of the other details, then you can see that there is cab detail, but um, it's not painted. But it is, it is, it is good. You can see the gauges and things there, so that's good. We've got um, a glazed windows here, which is good to see. Um, for a model of this age. Um, if we have a look at the tender now, you can see that there's cab detail on the tender as well. There's an opening for the coals come out, and fairly realistic coal actually. I don't think it's removable, which isn't great, but it is very realistic, and um, I, I do like to see that. Um, on this model, we've got, it's a tender driven model, so um, I mean, I, that was, I think that was standard when this was produced, but there is all wheel pickups. Um, apart from the the front bogey there, which uh, moves about a bit, the, the swivelling bogey, other than that, I, th I believe it's all-wheel pickups, which is good to see. And it means that this, this, this engine doesn't struggle too badly on points. Moving on to printed detail now. The running number 5541 is very nicely applied. We've got uh, some good printing on the tender. If I just move it along, the LMS logo is beautifully applied. And again, lots of rivets can be seen there, so that's actually very good. The uh, name, Duke of Sutherland, is again a print, but very nicely applied. Nothing there. Um, between the uh, smoke box and the boiler, 
you can see that there is um, no paint spillage, so that's good to see. I don't think those are separately fitted plastics. I believe the crimson plastic is actually painted, so that, that's, that's very nice to see there's no paint spillage there. Um, along the top of the locomotive, we do have some, what I think would be um, doors for ventilation in the cab. But again, when this was produced, I don't know if, if being able to move them was a standard thing in models. So that isn't like that, but I don't think that's a criticism. Um, along towards the chassis, we've got lots of good detail here, which is seen very nicely here. On the tender in particular, uh, even though it is moulded, I think this looks very realistic with the springs on the on the and the beams there. Um, over onto the actual locomotive itself, not much underside detail. Maybe a couple of brake pads, but nothing particularly major. And then, of course, we've got these beautiful smoke deflectors, which I think look wonderful on a model like this. I really like them. With, of course, again, the running number applied beautifully on the smoke box door there. So, yeah, overall, this uh, model is uh, very nicely detailed. I'm not seeing too much um, bad moulding. I think the plastic's been applied very well. No ugly glue marks or anything, which is good to see. Uh, glazed windows, of course, no sprung buffers, but we've gone over that. I don't think that was standard back then. Um, so, yeah, I think now that we've seen all of the detail, it would be good to just get her on the tracks and see how she does. Let's do that now. So there she is, the beautiful LMS Patriot class, Duke of Sutherland, looking wonderful on that track there. So um, I guess it's now just time to test her performance. So um, just get around to the controller and have a look here. Um, okay, it's that direction, and we'll just see what we can get her going at. There's a crawl. Oh dear, that's not a good start. Okay, if I've got it on a low speed, if I just give it a push. Hmm, okay. Oh, okay, well, I've moved. We'll try again on a very consistent crawl. Oh, we had something there. Let me get up a tiny bit faster. I think that's as good as we're going to get out of that old motor. We'll just then um, get her up to the plane and see how she does then. Okay, so based on the somewhat disappointing uh, crawling pace and slow speed of this locomotive, I've got her with a short train today, just three Pullman coaches. Um, I don't actually have any LMS coaches, which is guilty as charge. I should have some, but I don't. So I've got these uh, Pullman Queen of Scots coaches, which ran up the West Coast Main Line. That's where the Queen of Scots train ran primarily, which is, of course, where Ellen, LMS ran some of their trains as well. So, I mean, it's sort of sticking to the theme. Uh, so, yes, we'll just get her started with these coaches and see how she does. I'll be very annoyed if I have to go to push even get her started. Why not, good? Okay, we'll just let that run. And I hope you enjoy. Not a quiet runner, but she looks very impressive with those coaches, I must say. She doesn't really like these express points, does she? Let's have a look at this. No, there's a distinct slowing down there. Mm -hmm. That's not too good. So she seems to be uh, handling those coaches quite well. So I think uh, just to give us a bit of extra action, I'll add on two more coaches. Now, before anyone starts shouting at me in the comment section, because I can see it now, I am wholly aware that these are LNER coaches, uh, which were pretty much the rivals of LMS. But um, I am going, I, I am adding them on anyway, because I think she looks very nice with them. Um, and as I said, I've got no LMS coaches. So, uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't go shouting at me that these are LMR, I'm wholly aware, but um, I think they'll look pretty good. So, 
Um, a five coach load is not a challenge, not a huge challenge for any locomotive, but it's certainly a more appropriate level of coaches for what she can do, uh, pushing her to her limits. So we'll just get these hooked up and see how she does then. So away she goes. So here's my ratings for the absolutely stunning LMS Patriot class 5541 Duke of Sutherland. So I am absolutely blown away by the detail of this thing. I really love that crimson red livery with the yellow lining. It just looks beautiful. And I really love the smoke deflects on this locomotive. It just looks, oh, it's beautiful. So um, I'm really pleased with the detail. But perform as performance is concerned, that slow speed crawl was absolutely terrible. Really, really not good but bear in mind that this locomotive is nearly 50 years old so that that, that is actually incredibly impressive uh, given that given the age it still runs with five coaches very well so it's good at running at medium speed but um about uh, about quarter speed it's pretty poor so with performance and detail taken into concern i've given it a solid four out of five which I think is uh, pretty appropriate for this locomotive. But you might not agree, is that too high? Is that too low? Just uh, let me know in the poll in the corner there. And thank you very much for watching. I'm hoping to do more locomotive reviews sometime in the next week. Catch you later.